What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome to the next mission. This is called Festung Gunsi. Gunsi. Hopefully, I said that right. Uh, but uh, this is another challenging mission to do, so sit back, relax, and enjoy. We have a lot of things to do, and we're going to do it 100% complete ghost, except for one target that we need to take out, which is the mandatory kill if you're going for that optional objective. Otherwise, leave a like, and it's go time. We've disrupted the production line at Marchesac, which will slow Muller's plans down. But we were too late to stop the shipment of huge quantities of already completed components. Components included state-of-the-art U-boat stealth plating. The shipments were bound for Guernsey, disguised as medical supplies. I'm following the trail. If Operation Kraken is some kind of stealth U-boat submarine, I need to take it out before it becomes an invisible killer in the channel. Factory shipping manifest puts those cracking deliveries in the underground hospital further inland. Gotta head there and follow the trail. Alright, so everything you see me do in this is going to be specifically done exactly and precisely the way you need to. There are a lot of enemies Radio just tower. scattered around just throughout this entire level. They can easily see you if you start running in a particular direction without knowing be harder to what enemies can see you and where they kind of are. So even though we're not going to be going really into the map or anything, I know exactly where everything is, I know exactly how to get there, and that is what we're going to do. So there's a few different objectives that we're going to do. Again, I always recommend playing this on, say, Sniper Elite mode first, so you can see where the objective are, so you can actually see where, you know, like, kind of, Fort you can Hummet. formulate a route. I've come up though. with my own personal route Found for this mission. I can use uh, maybe it differs from what you did. I'd love to know in the comments below if you went a different style or if you went, you know, a completely different direction than I did, let me know. Uh, there's a few Hummets things here radio. you don't actually need to get. You don't Fight need to pick up these items at all. Stuff. Okay. But this if you do want to do some of the side content, okay. yes, pick them up. This changes things. Because it'll things. tell you how to complete those side objectives. Immediately get down here because there's a few guards on the right side that will be able to see you if you don't immediately get down right there. And then we're going to exit out via the window and we're going to kind of run across the open area. So the, there is usually a guard that is down in this little tower below, but if you're quick enough, you can get here to this point before he has a chance to actually get down in that little thing right there. So you should be able to go completely across and never have to worry about that guard. Stick to the right side as there's a bunch of enemies on the left side here and you don't want them to hear you or see you. As soon as you get up to here, you're going to want to go prone Damn. so that the guy in front of Bad you doesn't see you. There's one guy who Charlie is talking to the this. other guy. Uh, won't the be able to guy on the right the side is actually the driver. Is he's going to talk to him for just a little bit and then he is going to get in his vehicle. As soon as he turns to look away from your direction as he, he, heading, as he is heading towards his vehicle, that is when you want to start moving. You want to be quick enough so that the truck guy doesn't see you as you're making your way across. Essentially where we're going to be doing this beginning sections is not too difficult, but it is very easy to get caught here if, again, you don't know where the enemies are and what they're kind of doing. We're going to wake, make our way up until this, like, kind of tower. This is where the optional workbench is if you want to upgrade some items, um, and you'll actually unlock... Every time you find a workbench in the level, you will unlock new uh, gadgets for your equipment or mods for your rifles. So it's always good to, ju to explore the level, find out where those workbenches are. Uh, so we're going to sneak our way into the workbench, and then we're going to use a zip line and make our way down, and then uh, we'll continue the conversation. Here. Accept your role as part of the mighty German Forces
All right, so now that we've made it to the workbench, uh, you can see here that there are a lot of customizable things. Now remember, I've played this game completely different than I'm sure a lot of you have played it. Uh, I don't really, you know, there hasn't been a mission where we 100% had to actually snipe someone yet, except for the very beginning. The first two people you took out so far is literally the only part of this game that I've actually had to use my sniper rifle. Otherwise, I've hospital. never had to use it. To I know that seems so weird for a sniper elite game, but the thing is it gives you options. It lets you play the way you want to play, and I just find ghosting to be fun, even if it is in a game like this where obviously the most fun you're going to have is sniping. But, again, I'll do that later after I complete the walkthrough. We'll go through and we'll do a lot of cool sniper stuff, hopefully with some other people, play a little bit of the multiplayer. That's the plan, but for my single player, I want to keep it nice and stealth-like. So once all the trucks and vehicles are gone, you're going to head up here. Again, follow the exact routes that I do, and they're going to lead you to the most success when it comes to stealthing through these areas. Once we head inside this little bunker area, you only need to go to the sp specific positions that I do. Otherwise, see, essentially what happens is you get an objective, and that objective encompasses a wide area that you need to search. I'm going directly to where you need to go, so you don't have to do the searching. What that means is, you know, I spend hours on these missions. And then by the end, I know exactly where each step needs to go, and I might be able to complete the mission in under 30 minutes, where it might take everyone else, you know, maybe an hour or two to do this. It only takes me significantly less, because I know exactly where I'm going. I don't need to kind of make my way around things. I can head directly to where I need to go, get the objective, and get out without being seen. So once we head inside here, we're going to do a little distraction. We're going to distract both of these guys. One is an officer, one is another guy. The objective is inside the room where the first guy is, and there's another objective that the officer goes to. We want to distract both because it messes up their pattern and their timing, and you'll see what I mean here. So once we come up here, we're going to run past them. First guy is in that room. Second officer is in the room to the left. They're going to hear you, they're going to come out to investigate. This is where your first tiny objective is. Just go into this room and Found come right back out. Place, That's all you got to do. But no sign of where they're being shipped to. Next, we're going to head and it's get over to where this crate is. As you can see, the, the guy's area. coming out. The second guy's coming out as well. Once you see that the coast is clear, you're going to go back into the room where this guy that just came out is and head into the first room, and you're going to grab the other objective. Now, at that point, you can head to the next main objective, which is the final objective. However, since we want to do the kill list, we're yeah, going to be I'm going behind us and side. complete that. Bye, so we're going to go. So technically, you don't have to do this right here if you don't want to, like yet. You could do the kill list first, but since I've already got them both outside the room, There's a tank uh, that is why I'm doing it. So now Not we can go ahead coast. and grab this objective. The could still be then we're there. going to head back. So they keep and we're going to sit the against this wall the here. Site and the tank both depot. Enemies are going to kind of come back to where they first started, but you're exactly in a position to where none battery. of them are going to be able to make you out. Won't be a threat for a while. Then you're going to head to the left, but and we're going to take out the kill target. Very down. easy to do. Just one guy to worry about, and you can get around him pretty easily. Once you do, take that guy out. There is a unique kill that you could set up if you want. Maybe we'll do that in some separate videos. Uh, this unique kill pertains to using cement to kill him. So I do like how they're giving you so many options, but I'm just going straight for the job that I need to do so we can move on. Once we're done with this guy, he's the only guy we're going to be taking out. Then you can head back over here and then move on to the next objective. Actually, there's two more objectives, sorry. One is to destroy the little uh, battery shell that we're doing, and then the final is to destroy the sub. So, really, really cool mission. Lots of fun. Uh, and, and again, what you're seeing here is only scratching the surface of the amount of areas and locales that are in this level. This is a huge map, but I'm only showing you exactly what you need to do to complete your objectives. So, if you see me miss something that you did, that is because that is not my goal for this walkthrough. I am get in and get out, helping you to figure out how to complete this on authentic and do it completely ghost.
cross him off the list. Essentially here, all we're doing is just uh, waiting until he is going to be not kind of looking in our direction because we need to go back the same way we came. But remember, the uh, enemies can see you very, very far away on Authentic, so you do have to be very cautious uh, where you are and if they're going to see you or not. So come back the same exact way, except this time we're not going to go back inside the bunker because we already completed the bunker objective. We're going to go straight to these big fields all the way over here and take out the battery. If you know the exact route to go into, it becomes super easy and you don't even have to worry really about anybody except for one guard that is so easy to get around, it's not even that big of a deal. Otherwise, you would literally be fumbling through all of the like 10 different entrances into this bunker with loads and loads of guards. But Sinistrino 1 is here to make sure you don't have to go through this all of that. Make some useful cover. Follow my route, get to where you need to do, and you should be able to complete trenches. the objective. Lickety split. Mit Streichhölzern und allem drum und dran. Was? Im Treibstoffdepot? Ist der wahnsinnig? Ich weiß ja, dass er nicht der Hellste ist. Aber so blöd kann keiner sein. Köstler hat ihn auf frischer Tat ertappt. Hat ihn dann in der Kaserne eingesperrt und ihn irgendwo zugewiesen, wo er seine Blödheit besser einsetzt. Es besteht also keine Gefahr, dass die Dinger hochgehen, während das Geschütz feuert? Zum letzten Mal. Die werden ferngezündet. Es besteht keine Gefahr, dass die versehentlich hochgehen. Naja, wenn du es so sagst, ist schon was dran. We've got the next shell ready to fire. Tampering with it will tear the gun apart. Keine Waffen zurück. Wenn den Alliierten das Geschütz in die Hände fällt, können sie damit auf unsere All right. The gun will blow when it's fired. Now to lay low until the scuttle charges. Designed to render the gun inactive before it's captured. If I can get to the Nazis to detonate them, Miris is toast. Congratulations, you're awesome, and I didn't even need to tell you that. Great job. Let's keep it up. All right, final the gun's objective. destroyed itself. Doubt that'll make the propaganda real. We are going to be using one distraction here just to get kind of uh, get a guard looking in a different direction so we can make our way a little quicker. But head to the right side here, and we're going to take our next objective by storm. This is going to be going inside to their kind of made hidden base, and this is going to allow us to take out the sub. There are three different ways that you can do this. I'm going to do the stealthiest route. Right. We're going to distract this guard. This is going to allow us to be able to move on without him looking in this direction. And we can make our way. Otherwise, he is going to be moving slowly, which means you have to follow him. And that could take you literally three minutes just to follow him all the way. Because he comes all the way over here, and then he stands right where we're going, and then he turns back around. So it's best to uh, distract him very early. There are multiple routes into this hidden bunker. I'm going to show you the one that's going to be the stealthiest, as well as exactly where you need to go to do the perfect optional objective, which is to call in a strike for the submarine to be destroyed. Otherwise, you can do like some optional objectives with the uh, the pump rooms to destroy the submarine. There's different ways to complete this. So just because you see me do it this way, you know, you can still do it a different way and still be stealthy. But this, in my opinion, is essentially 
the stealthiest, nobody knows I was even here kind of way to do it. So we're waiting for this guy. We're going to use another bottle. Throw it in this direction. Otherwise, he's going to get to this point and turn it immediately around. And then you have to wait another, like, three minutes before you can move forward. So it's best to distract him here. Make him move forward, and then we can go ahead and move forward. Now, on Sniper Elite Mode, you can do what I'm going to do. But on Authentic, you cannot get away with it. So, I realized that before I continue, because you will immediately be caught if you try to jump over this thing and head onto the road. Because of the two guards that are looking at the road, you're going to get caught every time, so don't do it. So what you're going to want to actually do is do exactly what I do after I realize, okay, this is authentic, I'm not going to be able to make it across. Now, you'll notice here that I don't actually use this save, meaning that, um, that I realize, wait, 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 that was Sniper Elite Mode when I was trying that. You need to actually go back, otherwise these guards will see you as you cross. And there's really no way to get around that. So essentially, go back to where you came, and we're going to head out to the right, and then keep going to the right, and then we can make our way across the road from the far side, which will mean the guards won't be able to see you. Now, don't be alarmed, as there are snipers that are kind of working on their target practice. However, they're not looking in your direction. They're actually looking at the targets which are below you. So you're free to run across here without any fear, as long as you stay where I am, uh, of any guards or anything that would see you. Again, there are snipers that are literally pointing at targets that are directly beneath you, like right there in that area, but they, they don't see you whatsoever. So you can make your way down. Now, essentially, we got one guy that we need to watch out for here. He's an officer. He is also where your main optional objective... And remember, what I mean main optional objective is I mean you have a main objective and you have three different optional ways to complete that main objective. The one that we're going to be doing is literally right here in this room, but you don't know it yet, so therefore you can't do it. It's going to be to use the phone right there. But since we don't know about it yet, we have to go and kind of trigger it. The way that you trigger it is actually listening to people in the environment. That's how you trigger the optional. You don't actually know that there are optional ways to complete it. Because of that, you need to actually be a little patient and go the route that I do, so you know. So first of all, there's going to be some guys talking into this big room. You don't need to go into the room, you don't need to stay and listen to them talk. But this is the main room of where the officers are, or where the main guys are talking about all the stuff. So what you're going to do is come over here and then start heading downstairs. Right there's the sub. Prototypes waiting to be refueled and resupplied. Dropping torpedoes on an active fuel line should cause enough for an explosion to bring down the whole facility. Now you just heard him talk about how now there's already the first optional objective that you can do. It's already set up now, and now you're going to listen right here. The second one is going to start because you hear this conversation here. You need to be down here for it to trigger. Let this conversation finish. Head the way that I am. I mean, you could probably go back up too if you wanted to, but... This is the route that kind of just fancied me. It's going to take us right back around to where we need to go. As you can see, he's talking about using the Scuttle phone. This is also where the other optional objective that you can do in this room is. But we're just going to bypass it. That's not what we're doing. Wait for this guy to turn around. He's going to come out, and then he's going to do a little pattern, and then he's going to turn around, and then you can go in and do what you got to do. Pressure valves. So right Place here, there like is a mechanism Captain, directly to the right, right there. You can kind of see it flashing. Uh, that'll be one of two pressure valves that you can do in order to uh, complete the a different optional objective for the same mission. But we're actually going to go all the way back up here. We're going to head to the left. You can get a collectible right in this room as well. And then you can use your lock pick to go into the next room. There's also a safe there if that's your jam. One of these officers that are patrolling the area is probably going to have that key if you want. Test site in time. Yeah, Overloading my guess is you're going to be able to get uh, more collectible stuff inside there as well. But we don't need to do that. You'll notice this room is the same exact room that we were just in when we came down to this area when we took the ladder. Except now we're coming back and now that phone is going to have an option for us to call. And you can literally call the Ghostbusters while this guard is waiting right here. Dumbest officer ever. 
Hold on, the Duncan Sunder. The Aliart and Death from Unser are technology Nick and Halton. We have destroyed the Kraken. Now we're gonna head back exactly, exactly the same way, except Time we're gonna veer off here. just a little bit towards the end. I actually, uh, we passed the exfiltration point already, so we're just literally heading back right where we were. Stay on the far side over here because you do not want them to see you that are on the road, on the left. And they still can see you if you're not smart, so you definitely need to be weary. Come over here and get into this cover, then make your way across. Now, if you run from this point, you should be okay. You shouldn't uh, get caught at this point. They're, they won't have enough time to fully make you out as long as you get over here quickly. Now, when you go back into where we came, you'll see the guard is coming across, so you want to be a little slow here. You want to let him make his way all the way up. You're going to go right by him from, from behind him, and then you're going to make your way to the exfiltration point. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Actually, no, this was not an easy mission to do. This was still very, very difficult. I will say, however, in my opinion, this was the easiest mission so far in the game to do it the way that I wanted to. I literally didn't have to worry about any enemies, didn't even have to get really close to a lot of enemies, and I only had to take out, I didn't even have to do a, you know, I gotta take out an officer because I need his key. I didn't have to do anything like that. Straight up, just the one kill list and that was it. Otherwise, in and out like a glove. So if you are liking what you're seeing, guys, if you appreciate the challenge that I'm requiring myself to do for this game, Please leave that like. Let me know in the comments that you enjoy the videos and that you're having fun with the walkthrough. Become a member, guys. It's only $2 a month, literally $2 a month, and you'll help myself and my family be able to continue to do this. And, uh, and it just goes a long way into making sure that uh, we can keep this YouTube channel alive. So send a thanks, send a donation, whatever you want to do. Help the channel out. Help it to survive. Times are tough, obviously, so any bit helps. Love you all, and we'll see you in the next Fairburn has returned with intel that confirms the serious and urgent nature of Operation Kraken. Der Prototyp zerstört. Die Testdaten sind verloren. Monate der Vorbereitung für die Kass. Unsere japanischen Verbündeten sind außer sich. Sie reisen doch nicht um die halbe Welt, um Zeuge von Unfähigkeit zu werden. Wir sollten die Sicherheitsmaßnahmen verstärken. Aber natürlich halten Sie mich für blöd. Ich will äußerste Wachsamkeit. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mission complete. Kill list in that one. We didn't even do the optional objectives, as we have not been. And we received our stealth detection score of two, which is the lowest I think I've had so far. One kill, no enemies unconscious, no nothing else. Love you all. Take care of yourselves, and we'll see you on the next mission. Peace out. Bitches!